Hi guys, so do you remember the oven ready deal back in 2019? Well, it seems to be rehashed as the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill on Monday. Yes, this is Boris Johnson, or more correctly, Liz Truss's attempt to push through a bill which will undo parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol, which of, which of course was contained within the withdrawal agreement signed by Boris Johnson and the European Union back in 2019. Um, will this break international law? Well, legal experts and political experts have said, yes, it will. And here is the reaction from the largest party in Northern Ireland, Sinn Féin, as to whether this is breaking international law or not. The majority of people want the protocol to work. It's the best defence we have against the hardest possible Brexit. The majority of business community are saying that the protocol is working and affording them opportunities. We want to see more of that. But all that Boris Johnson is doing today is to further political instability and to create even more economic uncertainty for the, the days and weeks ahead. Do you believe what Boris Johnson is doing today is illegal? Yes, Boris Johnson's action is illegal. He is in clear breach of international law, regardless of the detail. He himself signed up to an agreement. He signed on the dotted line and he is now legislating to breach that international agreement. And she's completely correct here. Boris Johnson signed up on the dead of the line saying, yes, we're going to implement this agreement that we signed back in 2019 and now he's undoing it. Now, what is the motivation behind this? Well, once again, just like Brexit, it's an attempt to keep a small fringe within the Conservative Party happy, the likes of the ERG, and to keep people uh, fringe within Northern Ireland happy, the likes of the DUP. The DUP, of course, recently have said that they will refuse to go into power sharing with Sinn Féin, who are the biggest party. The DUP lost out there. The DUP are now the second largest party. They were originally the, the largest party. And instead of actually accepting reality, accepting democracy and going into a power sharing executive, they have said, no, we're not going to do that. We want the protocol removed or torn up in some sense. And uh, instead of facing down this threat to the protocol, Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers said, yes, we'll do that. Now, one of the motivations, it seems, is, as um, Michelle O'Neill pointed out here, the protocol is helping businesses in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is the economy there is doing much better than any other part of the United Kingdom. And this is, frankly, embarrassing for Brexiteers. Brexiteers are looking at Northern Ireland, which has access to the single market, the European single market, and it's doing better than any other part of the UK. This clearly demonstrates that being outside the single market is a problem. And it's embarrassing for Brexiteers. So instead of actually admitting that, well, what we need to do is we need to bring Northern Ireland back in line with the rest of the UK so it's suffering the same consequences as other parts of the United Kingdom. So to hell with businesses in Northern Ireland, to hell with international law, we need to defend Brexit here. It has always been the case. It will always be the case. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.